Friday. Q and A. Fan mail. Lovely. Welcome back. I'm Captain Xavier. And uh, yeah. First Q and A of 2021. Stuff is going well. Uh, going back to work was bleh. I got almost nothing done this week. I've been spending a lot of time up in my Lego room, and it has been lovely. Soon, soon there will be a tour. Soon. Waiting on one last package, which may be in my P.O. box. I didn't get there before it, um, they closed today, and there was a slip saying I've got a package, so maybe that's it. Maybe I'll pick it up tomorrow. I'm actually filming this on Thursday, so maybe I'll pick it up on Friday and add it in before I upload this. Who knows? You don't know. You have no idea. Time is an illusion! I'll answer some questions. <clears throat> Void Walker. What is an unorthodox skill you gained from medieval recreation? Knife throwing? Knife throwing is one I picked up in medieval recreation that doesn't come up a whole lot in today's modern society. The neat thing is once you learn how to throw knives, you can throw just about anything vaguely knife-shaped. You know, pencils, pens, forks. I stuck a spoon in a box once. Uh, yeah. Michael Nimrod. Who is your favorite Lord of the Rings character? Lord of the Rings? Ooh, either... Either Tom Bombadil or Gilgalad. They were my two favorites, and neither of them... Well, Gilgalad has, like, a cameo in the movie, in the opening scene. You see him stab an orc. Uh, Tom Bombadil just gets removed from everything always. He even got removed from the radio show. Uh, so, tragic, but he was a fantastic character. Con! How would you improve the hammer shot? And is there any pistol that would that could conceivably take its place? Well, there's loads of ways to imp improve the hammer shot. There's spring upgrades for it, hammer upgrades, trigger replacements, and obviously a plethora of cylinders. Uh, there's the various metal cylinders. Gavin Fuzzy has the eight round cylinder, and now radioactives come out with just a ridiculous number of truly innovative. Uh, cylinders for it uh, that are basically that are inline clips, so the ammo capacity just goes through the roof, which is ridiculous and fantastic. And apparently, I was sent one for Christmas, and it has wandered off. I don't know if it was burgled by guests, which would be rude, or I, what I think happened is that there was food in the stocking that it was in, and some manner of local wildlife in dragging off the food, dragged off the cylinder. So it's either somewhere in the shop under a bench where the raccoon or the cat left it, or it's out in the swamp being consumed by wild boars and big feet. Um, but yeah, there's, there's lots of options. And as far as replacing it, well, if they ever came out with something that was the same size but a higher capacity, I mean, the, the advantage of the hammer shot is that it can be used one-handed, um, but the, the limited capacity is a problem. The, um, it's also a spring-powered blaster. I mean, obviously things like, you know, these are also can be used single-handed, but they require magazines or they require batteries, and, and so the hammer shot has a number of advantages over those. Um, so, I mean, conceivably, it'll, it'll depend. If they ever came out with a, a six-round hammer shot, or, you know, a replacement if Nerf came out with one, or if one of the other companies came out with a hammer-primed revolver that had a higher capacity but was still small, because they've come out with ones with higher capacity, but they're all huge and bulky and don't fit as nicely into holsters and all of that. So, I'm sure there could be someday, but I haven't seen one yet. Crashmire117. Hey Cap, have you heard about any of the Halo books? I'm aware that Halo books exist, but the specifics, no. Austin Black. This, this question got asked a lot, and uh, I'm going to answer this one. So Austin Black gets the, the brunt of my ire. Due to your left eye poor function, would you consider a monocle? I'm not sure why so many people seemed to believe that a monocle would work where glasses don't. But no, a monocle would not help my vision at all. In fact, it would probably just be awkward and weird. Now, someone else commented a suggestion for a tactical monocle. 
like, Mad Eye Moody looking thing, where it's basically an eye patch, but it's a monocle. And again, it wouldn't help my vision. Nothing will help my vision because of the nature of the problem. It would require a transplant. Um, so, monocle glasses, they're not going to help. Um, but for some reason, I really want a tactical monocle now. You know, one that I could, like, flip up and then flip down? Like I said, it wouldn't do me any good. But I want one now! <laughs> Just because I'd be silly. Um, but yeah, no, I, I, uh, there are reasons we quit using monocles. Glasses are more efficient. They hold themselves onto your face. You don't have to keep... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But at the same time, yeah, it had never even occurred to me. And I want one now. But just for those of you that are curious, it wouldn't help. On to the next question, which is a better question. Phoenix693. If a functional cybernetic eye replacement came out, would you get one to replace your bad eye? I would be really, really tempted to, especially if it came with all the great cyberpunk features like zoom and record and infrared. Then, oh yeah, 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 that would be neat. Um, the the problem with, you know, like I said, it's it's not something that can be corrected with a lens. Uh, contacts wouldn't do it, a monocle wouldn't do it, glasses won't do it. Um, it would require uh, a transplant, and the problem with eye transplants is if you end up having a, you know, rejecting it, then you lose the eye entirely. And while my left eye is blurry with both eyes, I can see just fine. I passed my driver's test, I can read, I can see perfectly well. But if I close my right eye, the world goes blurry. Um, after about there. Even that's kind of... Yeah, right there. There. Now my hands in focus. Um, but I do still have depth perception, because I do still have the two eyes. If I lose the one eye, then I lose depth perception. And I don't want to. I like being able to tell how far something away is away from me. Um, so, yeah, if, if they actually came up with a fully cybernetic eye that functioned like a real eye, yeah, if it had bells and whistles and cyberpunky coolness, then that would be even better. A.J. Brodinsky. If given the chance, would you appear on a late night talk show? I cannot imagine how I would ever get invited on a late night talk show, but absolutely, that would be ridiculous. Especially if I got to hose the host with like the smart gun or tear or something, just come out and just, just waste him. That would, that would be fun. I'd love to do a nerf battle against one of them where you give them a maverick and then I come out with my blaster. That would be, that would be fantastic. BT7274. Do you watch any anime? Not currently. There aren't any animes that I'm currently following. I have seen animes. Uh, there's a couple that I enjoy. Uh, but there aren't any that I'm watching at the moment. No. Uh, what is the modulus supposed to sound like? Apparently it got a modulus at Goodwill and it sounds like a jet engine taking off. It should sound the same as any other flywheel blaster. It should be relatively quiet, especially on, on regular motors. Uh, or regular batteries, rather. Now, there is a chance that yours has been upgraded, and they did it poorly, or that it's been damaged. If water got into the motors, it can make them get real noisy because there's, you know, rust and corrosion and it's grinding and, and stuff like that. So, um, I would recommend probably replacing the motors. You know, obviously if you replace the internals, whatever's making the noise now is going away. Thing is, if you upgrade it to, you know, upgrade motors, upgrade motors are noisy. Um, but probably not quite so scary a noise. And there are quiet ones, like Fang Revamps or Krakens are remarkably quiet because they're bearinged. But, uh, yeah, you probably, there's probably a reason it was at Goodwill, and it's probably the horrible noise. Grim Reaper 2458 underscore. What is the weirdest thing you've ever seen at a Nerf War? Probably Brett dressed as a banana taking the field of battle armed only with a banana. That was pretty weird. I miss those guys. Oh, I want this plague to be over. I want it to be over. Take that! Now, ah, right off the top. Zach Leek. If you had the ability to transform into any creature, mythical or real, what would it be? Something with regeneration? You know, something that would, you know, fix my eye and my back and my knees. Either that or a bat, just so I could fly. Maybe something really small so I could be sneaky. Or something really big so I could step on people. Dragon? Dragon would be cool. Matho Roden. Royden? Royden. 
What is your favorite and or most challenging subject during your school carrier? I assume they mean career. Uh, my favorite subject. Programming languages was a lot of fun, and a lot of that was the, the professor, uh, because he was just so much fun to, to learn from. Um, survival systems was also great, again, because of the professor. Fencing, obviously I loved fencing. Um, I took some interesting electives that were quite interesting. Uh, real-time operating systems. I didn't think I would ever get to use that, and then it turns out you need a real-time operating system to run brushless motors. So uh, it came up when I built the smart gun. So that was one that I'm, I'm... It was challenging at the time, and now I understand, you know, when I finally like, Arduinos are, are going to be scary, and then I actually started and went, wait a minute, I have a degree in this. I know how to do this. Yeah, yeah, make the pin active. Yeah, 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 with the input in the... Ha-ha! <laughs> so that was, that was... That was nice. Mr. Secretary's Armory. What would happen if 100 rubber ducks were to randomly show up at your fan mail P.O. box? I imagine the post office would deliver them to me. And then I would have them. I'm really not sure what this question was wanting. I mean, what, what would I do if somebody sent me 100 rubber ducks? I would have 100 rubber ducks. Because that is how cause and effect works. Um, I don't know what I would do with 100 rubber ducks. Maybe make a, a, a target out of them? That would be kind of neat. Make a, a, a big frame target that has little shelves covered in ducks and then I can shoot all of the ducks. I don't know. Um, I don't have a bathtub so I wouldn't be able to like, you know, s cover myself in rubber ducks in my tub. I do eventually want a hot tub and I could just have a layer of ducks on it. That would be fun. Vincent Widdershoven. What is your shoe size? Ten and a half. Papa Goose! Do you like foxes? Not particularly? I mean, I don't have anything against them, but I've never been a, a, a fox enthusiast. They're noisy and they stink. Leo Santos. What do you think of the Adventure for Scorpion? And could I get some recommendations for a loadout or simple mods? Well, the the Scorpion is fun. Rotating barreled minigun. Obviously, I'm all about the rotating barreled minigun. Uh, and it was a remarkably powerful blaster out of the box at the time. Because it was hitting like 100 FPS or something. And at the time, that was, you know, way above what anything else was hitting. Uh, I built a shoulder-mounted one that was cool, except it convenient inconveniently was at face height. And I shot a whole line of zombies in the face with it without realizing, Oh, that was... that was mean. Uh, that was mean. Um, for simple mods, well, it's a flywheel blaster, so you can upgrade the motors. I don't know that there are, I don't think there's an upgraded cage out there. Uh, and I don't know if the wheels are the right size to take, you know, regular Nerf flywheels. Uh, but you could definitely upgrade the motors. You can also just run it on three IMRs and three dummy batteries, because it usually runs on six AA's. So if you went three and three, that'll give it a slight boost. Um, so that's, that's the easy mod. Um, loadout is difficult. I mean, if, if you can get a really long belt, that helps. But even a shorter belt that you just top off, you know, if you put it into a loop rather than having it fall apart, um, it's, it's not a bad blaster. And it, it's fun because it's got the rotating barrels, which is just neat. A smit. What kind of auto strife kit would you suggest for a beginner? Well, depending on how beginner you're, you're talking, as long as you know how to solder, uh, any of the various kits aren't too bad. The um, the worker kit is actually really solid. The one that they designed for like the swordfish and the the, the dominator, dominator, dominator. Um, it's fairly simple. It does have pusher arm return, which makes it a much nicer kit than some of the three D printed ones that are out there. Though there is now a three D printed kit that has pusher arm return. Though I think it needs a little bit of tweaking. I need to tinker with it and see if I can get it to work a little bit better. Um, but just, yeah, the, the worker one is probably the easiest. It's fairly straightforward, and there's plenty of diagrams out there. You basically use a, um, a three-switch rapid strike um, diagram, which I have on my, my Facebook page. So that's the one I would recommend. Crow0920. Do you to enjoy caramel corn? I think they mean, do you enjoy caramel corn? 
I'm not entirely sure what caramel corn is. Is it popcorn that's covered in caramel? Because in that case, no, no, not, not, not so much. Too, too much, too much for me. Corvin55. Have you seen the trailer for the new game Cyberpunk? No. James H45. q &A. What are your neighbors like, and what do they think of your splendid, hermity, schmuckery, nerdery, murdery, wibbly wobbly world? Uh, well, they're 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 there. I've 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 met the neighbors on this side of me. They were good friends with the people who used to own here, uh, and they're the ones who want me to run for mayor so I can dissolve the city council, uh, which I may do someday. Uh, as long as I can, instead of being mayor, can become the emperor, the emperor of Vader. That would be fabulous. Um, my neighbors in this direction, they, they've got a young kid who's come over here, but I don't, I don't know that I've spoken to the, the parents at any point in my life. I'm a hermit. I moved out to the middle of nowhere, so I wouldn't have to deal with people. Uh, and then... A neighbor on the far side, I think I've spoken to them once. I think their son used to do the lawn maintenance for the family that previously owned this property, and I really should just throw some money at him and get him to mow my lawn so I don't have to do it. Um, and then I don't have any other neighbors, because I'm on the edge of town. So, As far as I know, they don't have any issues with what I do. The, the family we here thought it was neat, the kid likes to come over and play. Eventually, I will start hosting events here, and then there will be lots of traffic in and out of their, you know, their quiet little hamlet, and, and maybe they will have some things to say about it. Or maybe they'll join in. I don't know. We'll find out. Pick that! Ah, oh, no good. All right. Those are the questions. Now for the loot. <laughs> right. Here we are. We have a letter. I love getting letters. This is from a Thomas, a Mr. Thomas Luke. Seasons greetings. Dear Captain Xavier, I sincerely hope that this card finds you on a good day. It's, 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 it's okay. I wrote this card to wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I also wanted to say that I greatly appreciate what you do. I have included a Pokemon card. A Pokemon card. A Pokemon. Give, give it a, a Pokemon card. And I just want to show what it is. That is in your colors. It is rather. Yeah. As a Christmas gift. I hope you like it. Train. There actually is one coming, I believe. It's not here yet. But it's coming. Uh, sorry about the train. Now then, I hope you like my Christmas gift. To you, I hope you have a wonderful Christmas. Until next time, bangerang. Thank you, Luke Thomas. Riperior. All right. I know absolutely nothing about Pokemon or how the game works or how the card works. Uh, thank you for doing what you do. P.S. It's in your colors. Luke Thomas. Very cool. I will put it. I think I've been given Pokemon cards before. I think I have them in my, my stack of weird things that people have sent me and that I keep because it's neat. Very cool. Thank you. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to you as well. All right. Let's get into the little ones. Sounds suspiciously like happiness. I suspect there's a saint involved. There is indeed Sparky the Saint involved in sending me a green ninja car. That's weird. That's weird. It's weird, but there's a lot of good parts in there. Green parts are, are usually hard to come by. The gold parts... The weapons, good stuff. I'll have to do another poly bag build video where I build all the little poly bag sets that I've been sent because I suspect there's gonna be a couple of them. Wait for it. It's another one. This one's a little ninja flying a dragon. Red dragon, red ninja. Is it? Is it? Who, who is responsible for this one? A gift! You need an army from Sparky the Saint. That is correct. A whole Ninjago polybag episode. It's gonna be great. I might even have some more. Wait for it. Train! It's a noisy 
easy one. We have! This one has no nook, but it's another one of those dragons. Because you can never have too many of them. That's the neatest thing about Lego. Just, oh, you got me the same thing. Now I have twice as many. Hooray! I will build them all and it shall be fantastic. Okay, I've got something here that I'm super curious about. All that I know is that it says, an artist from Redbubble. I don't know what Redbubble is. There's cats in a ball of yarn. I am super curious what this is all about. Because I like art. It would appear to be a thing. It is... Oh, other way. Huh. I have no idea. Is it one picture? It would appear to be. Let's move this out of the way. Oh! It is the the French taunting from Monty Python. You don't frighten us, English pig dogs. Go and boil your bottom. I blow my nose at you. You and all your silly so-called Arthur Knight English knits. What a strange person. Now look here, my good man. I don't want to talk to you no more, you empty-headed animal food trife wiper. I fart in your general direction. Your mother was a hamster and your father smelt of elderberries. That is awesome. That, that is getting framed and going on my wall in my study when I finally get it built someday. Very, very cool. I like how it is all arranged. Very cool. Don't remember, somebody mentioned they were sending me this. I don't remember who, they know who they are and that they are awesome and I appreciate this and someday it will be on my wall. All right, now we get into the package. Dubious. Dubious. A dubious package from Butler. It's a, it's a thing. It would appear to be a thing. Is it a thing? Do we have a thing? That is not at all what I expected that to look like. I expected it to be a lot bigger for some reason. This is... One of the few blasters that I am missing. It has the box, but it is not sealed in box. This is one of those switch shots. Uh -huh. So this is a combination dart blaster squirt gun uh, operating this switch. So it fire. It was chambered in old mega, which means if you took the post out, it would be chambered in uh, ultra which is hilarious. And then right below the barrel, there is a squirt gun barrel. So it's air powered either way. So that's the blaster. Switch it over and it fires water. And that that is much smaller and svelter than I was anticipating because the other ones are much larger. Here is the reservoir for the water. Awesome. Very, very cool. Another one. Finally off the list. Thank you ever so much, Butler. Worth every penny. I'm fairly certain I paid him for it. I hope I paid him for it. I should have paid him for it. Sweet. Very cool. The list gets shorter all the time. Interesting. What is our note? No note. Just facts. Facts. All right. We have now a particularly dubious package. This package I am extremely dubious of because this package has come to me from the Sergeant Major of the crew, Sergeant Kyle. And uh, I cannot imagine what that man would be sending me. It says he'll probably send a letter, which means there's probably no note, so there's no explanation. 
There's a hole in the package. Hopefully nothing has fallen out. Or hopefully there's nothing in here that puts holes in things. But that would be par for the course. It appears to be a bunch of random... Oh, that is, that is too cool. Okay, so he has sent me a new MDLM security shirt. I have one somewhere. As I keep saying, we did incorporate as a private security company, MDLM Securities. Um, and so we did, we did have fancy, fancy uniform polo shirts for, for that. So another one of those, lovely. He has apparently found a Lego telephone. I cannot imagine where he came up, where he found a Lego telephone. I hope, I hope that was broken when he got it and didn't get broken. I assume there's supposed to be um, the rest of the cradle, but it does look to be standard Lego, so I could probably replace it. I don't have a landline. Oh, it's Tyco. It's not Lego. Tyco. Okay, that's, that's still entirely too cool. Oh, you can change the ringer. I wonder if it works. I assume there's supposed to be something there. Answering machine, maybe? I don't know. But I'm keeping it. That is too cool. That will go in my Lego room somewhere. And then he has sent me... I... Oh. I, I don't know. It's a pen. It says Idaho. What? What? Explain your spell, Sergeant. And a dog ball launcher! Which is cool. I will have to... A couple of things people have said about these recently that I wanted to test. I'm pretty sure I have one already, and now I can experiment more. Um, either in making them more powerful or launching weird things out of them. Awesome. 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 This, that is entirely too cool. All right. Back. More back. All right. Now we get to the large package. That's broken. All right. This comes from St. Julius, I think. Is what that says? Hopefully there's a note. Hopefully slice anything. Oh look! A note! Warning documented has been redacted by St. Julia's Asylum. Access to classified information will result in reclassification and transfer to, uh, to the containment rooms. St. Julia's Asylum for Wayward Boys, Department of Youth Management, Patient, 239101. Redacted. Dear Captain Xavier de Normandy, hoping this friendly letter finds you well, I recently discovered this letter as well as the contents of this package while cleaning out my old effects from when I was a patient at the fine establishment. Redacted. Since my elevation to doctor of this fine establishment, I have had less time to devote to the foam flinging arts. I still hold out hope that I will join you in the battlefield. As such, I have included the original letter with the original contents in spite of the fact that uh, much might have been added or removed. I admit it is not the most advanced or useful items for the teaching, but as teaching tools, I feel it would be invaluable. Plus, doing more garbage K26 videos would be great. There will be another one someday. Uh, best wishes in this time of most heinous plague, Dr. Alistair Twaddle, D-U-E-P, Doctor of Unethical Practices, St. Julia's Asylum for Wayward Boys. Let me see. Da, 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 Captain, thank you for the letter to... Compliment you on your new makerspace and home you have taken as a base of operation. I have recently joined the crew auxiliary, but I'm tragically on the opposite coast. Thus, I'm unlikely to serve alongside you in glorious battle. Oh, you never know when I start traveling again. Um, da, 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 da. If anyone knows about events or dirt battles or crew meetups in the greater 
Boston area. Pretty sure we've got crew in Massachusetts. Uh, I am in possession of a vehicle, so I can travel fairly far and can transmit trans transit others as well. I am on the Facebook group if anyone is interested in contacting me, but please be patient as I am habitually bad at checking Facebook. I admit it is not a good situation, but I am working uh, a lot, so my schedule, uh, while very filled, is always in need of get away from my computer. Uh, in any event, I've gotten quite good at replacing springs and strip stripping blasters, but I have yet to make the jump to rewiring. My local area is completely devoid of strife blasters, so I have been forced to hoard stampedes for future projects. Good plan. I'm looking forward to your electrical diagrams when they are released. Anyway, I have included a series of items that you might find interesting projects for your trainees. If you have any need for any of these, feel free to give them out to the makerspace. I'm sure they can be sacrificed for training purposes. Alright. Wish you all the best, and hope one day to join you on the battlefield, Alistar Twaddle. Note from Asylum Staff, thank you for accepting our wayward product. The uh, patient has been very attached has been very attached with you and has been inspired by your work. Keep up the good work. Addendum, this note was found in the personal files of patient dated to a time three years ago. We've posted this package post haste. Okay, well, that's a lot of stuff. Right? Cheap suction up darts. Can't go wrong there. This is in fact the same foam sword thing that my kukri is made out of, so good material there. It's the saxophone from the Sax BZ. Does this actually make noise? Well, it falls apart, so probably not. It's weird. It's weird, I tell you. Sweet. I like it. Foam dagger. Scope. What? 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 What the? What? More what? Targets. Can't go wrong with targets. Oh, a stock. Hey! This one's in a bag. It looks to be the same thing, but this one's in a bag, and looks to be more complete. Very good, very good. Not a blaster, but that's a thing. Um, another thing definitely appears to be a thing. want to run this in a war now. Oh, we've got a, a dirt tag hyperfire. Lovely, lovely. Barricade. Can't go wrong with a barricade. Oh, very good, very good. Anything hammer primed I like, though. <coughs> Ergonomics are horrific. Oh, what? A oh, hole! I think I have, I do, I have these exact things, and they actually are functional night vision, just for varying degrees of definition of functional. Oh, uh, let's see, more targets, an Air Max Extreme. Neat. A plastic wrench. A barrel to something, what did you go to? I'm willing to bet you used to go on there. And then it's been rechambered for something. Who knows? Very cool. And then a bag of. Aha! Here, here, here we get the K the future K26 fodder. Oh Lord have mer Chuck E. Cheese! Sweet! I think I've done this one. Whoa. Oh! Here. Yeah. Cool stuff. I like that. Scopes, things, blasters. 
Excellent stuff. Yes, yes, yes. This will go in the general makerspace collection for projects and whatnot. The targets will go to the target pile for being shot at. And it will be lovely. Most bats. Bats. More bats. If only I had a shortage of bats. What? I dig it. He fell over. All right, we have one last package. Apparently from Italy, for it is special handling fragile. Read first before opening package. Very well. Come here. Give, give, give it to me. So. This is from an Ian Odell. Aha. Hello, good captain. I hope this missive finds you well, and at least, at least in part. Eh, I'm well enough. However, this note also serves as your grounds of court marshalling. I object. I do not, do not recognize your authority, sir. Captain Xavier, by jury of me, you are found guilty of schmuckery. Okay, well, uh, yeah, that's fair. On the grounds that I was the one who sent that Mandalorian battle pack. Unless more than one person sent you that, then it would seem that I am the schmuck. I have no less than three Mandalorian battle packs that I have been sent to remain unempty on the shelf. So, let's see who the schmuck is now! It's still me because I have absolutely no idea who the other two came from. As such, I sent you to a pallet of root beer and summary nerfing via firing squad for whomever appears next at your abode. Regardless, I do hope you are well and that you enjoy the items provided in Odell. That's fabulous. I like that. I think I bought myself one of those Mandalorian packs and then I'm sure I've been sent at least two. I got one of them from Halt. So that may have been the main one thing. Good lord. Good, good lord. Good lord. Oh, we got some Frosties. That's a good one. We got uh, Brownie. Brownie Caramel Cream. Not a fan of the Brownie Caramel Cream root beer. But you had no way of knowing that. Ooh, Red Arrow, that's one I definitely do like. It is amazing that these survived. Oh, Bulldog, yep, 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 Bulldog's a good one. Bulldog is a good one. Let me get Bedford's, yes! Yes, Bedford's is one of my favorites of these ones. Oh, a classic Dad's. Cannot go wrong with Dad's root beer or their cream soda. And finally, it would appear there is, in fact, some Bundaberg. Australian family owned. Most excellent. I am genuinely surprised that survived. Well, if this is the punishment for being a schmuck, I shall have to endeavor to be a schmuck more often, which should be easy because it is my default setting. So, that's awesome. Thank you. I like the letter. That was fun. <laughs> All right. I have run out of package, unless I pick up the package that is sitting in my P.O. box tomorrow and then film and then and throw it in and then get this uploaded. It probably won't then be uploaded by noon because of how long these are and how slow my internet is, but it'll be a thing. Or this might be the end of it. Who knows? Either way, thank you for watching. I have acquired the package. There is no need to panic. Also, it sounds like happiness, which pleases me. We have here a small package that I was not expecting that has apparently come from England from a Lawrence James. It also sounds suspiciously of happiness. So we're going to start with that. It is happiness. There's a note. There's no note. It is more Ninjago, <laughs> which by the time this has gone out, I have already posted the Ninjago poly bag set and look. More Ninjago poly bag. That will teach me to jump 
the gun. What's another day? All right, more Ninjago. All right, let's get into this large, dubious package. They say dubious because uh, it was apparently sent to UPS Media Mail, and this is not Media Mail, so the post lady was suspicious. Okay, it's it's Lego. Oh, why was this sent to my PO box? It's weird. Uh, this is actually something I bought on eBay, so. Uh, disregard. Oh, yeah, and thanks for all the awesome stuff, because you people are awesome. Thank you. Happy New Year. All that jazz. I'm gonna go now. Yeah. No, I can't take my. No, I'm not the worst. <laughs>